Hi and welcome back to Hey Have You Read This Book? Today's book is Eugenia, written by Mark Tedeschi. This extraordinary true story is about one of the most interesting and controversial criminal cases in Australian history. Eugenia was a woman who lived in Australia and for 22 years took the identity of Harry and in that time he was married twice. Three years after his first wife went missing, Harry was arrested for murder. Eugenia Fellini was born in 1875 in a small seaside village in Italy. She was two years old when her family migrated to New Zealand and settled in Wellington. As a child, Eugenia was a tomboy. She liked to dress in boys' clothes and play rough games with the boys. Eugenia often skipped school and was found working with horses on her grandmother's farm. She was not interested in dolls or dressing in girls' clothes. When she was 15, Eugenia ran away from home. When she returned to her family, she worked in various jobs, such as coachman, bricklayer and brickmaker, dressed as a man. To avoid any arguments with her parents, she would change into women's clothes before going home. When Eugenia was 19, her father forced her into marriage, thinking it would make his daughter more normal. Eugenia's husband took her to Auckland, but she escaped and found her way back to Wellington, but she avoided contact with her family. Several times, Eugenia tried to get a man's job by dressing as a man, but after a while she would be recognised by someone and then lose her job. In 1896, when she was 21, Eugenia found a job as a seaman on a merchant ship. For 18 months, she worked on various ships until the captain of the ship discovered that Eugene was Eugenia. The captain locked Eugenia in the ship's hold and raped her often until the ship reached Newcastle in Australia, where she was left destitute and pregnant. Eugenia found her way to Sydney to the home of a childless Italian couple who looked after Eugenia and decided that they would be responsible for Eugenia's baby, Josephine. Eugenia assumed the identity of Harry, lived in boarding houses and worked in factories, hotels and laundries. He had a reputation as a hard drinker and he swore like a sailor. He was popular with the other men and had an eye for the ladies. When Josephine was seven years old, she was told that the man who came to visit sometimes was her biological mother. When Harry got a job looking after a doctor's horses, carriage and sulky, he fell in love with the housekeeper Annie, who had a nine-year-old son. A year later, Annie agreed to get married to Harry. Even after they were married, Annie had no idea that Harry was a woman. In the meantime, Josephine's foster father had gone back to Italy without his wife, who died two years later, leaving Josephine without any inheritance. Harry decided that Josephine could live with them. It came as a shock to Annie to find out that Harry had a 16-year-old daughter. Josephine was difficult and tempestuous and this caused friction in the house. One day Josephine revealed to her neighbour that Harry was actually her mother. The neighbour eventually passed this information on to Annie, who had never suspected anything before, but now she became suspicious. She confronted Harry when he came home, and everything between them changed. Harry's greatest fear was that a secret would be discovered and now that it had happened, he became very anxious. Harry still insisted that he was a man, but Annie doubted it. Many months later, Annie told Harry that she wanted the marriage annulled. Soon after, Annie went missing, and Harry became depressed. Harry told everyone that Annie had run off with another man. After a while, Harry met and fell in love with Lizzie. While Harry and Lizzie were settling down into married life, Annie's sister and son were finding it strange that they had never heard from Annie. They thought that Harry, who they had been told was really a woman, 
had something to do with Annie's disappearance, so they went to the police who charged Harry with the murder of his first wife. It was a shock to Lizzie to find out that Harry was a woman, because Lizzie believed that she was pregnant to Harry. Eugenia was described as a man-woman by the press, and the case created a sensation in the newspapers. Eugenia was found guilty and given life imprisonment at Long Bay Woman's Prison, situated south of Sydney. There was a lot of interest in this true crime story at a time in Australia's history when most of the population did not know that transgender people even existed. Read this book to find out how Eugenia's life unfolded in prison. It could be said that this story is a tragedy, but it is also entertaining, and I think you will enjoy reading this book. Thanks for watching.